How's everybody doing? This is Kyle here from KyleCraft. What's good? Okay, a lot of you requested a tutorial of that house. The personal house from the village takeover survival base that I just posted the other day. I'm a man of the KyleCraft people, so let's do it. We're building on this floating platform because it's awesome. These are the blocks you'll need. All wood, baby. Let's take this template out and let's get right to it. Okay, I laid out a little bit of a ground ground floor here so first off you're going to want to take a look at this logs as the pillars on the edges of the i gotta take care of this sorry and there we go logs as the pillars on the edges of the blocks right here okay so we're going to start they're going to be five blocks high one two three four five um four blocks in between this is the front door here one two three four five then we're going to come out go one block back one two three four take it up five once again and then on this side, it's five wide. So one, two, three, four, five. Take it up five, four. Repeat that across. And boom, we got our border in place. Now next up, take your stripped oak wood, the best block in the game. I mean, come on. Take it along the edges here, okay? The best part about this block, we can put it against the oak wood, just like that. And it still looks beautiful. Oh, oh, best block. But anyways, take it along the edges, go five blocks up once again, uh, each edge right here, boom, boom, boom. And then this is gonna be the back door right here, and it's gonna be a little asymmetrical in this build. So we're gonna go one, two, one, two, okay? And so there's gonna be this gap right here, you see it? On the right side. On the right side is gonna be a door, okay? So I just want you to, I just want you to see that, okay? We'll get to it in a minute. Back over here, continue on. And boom, we got our stripped oak wood in place. Now, let's get to some of the oak wood right here. This is gonna be a window. So we're gonna do two blocks on the bottom. We're gonna have a window and a split middle piece. We're gonna have two one wide windows. So we'll do a split right there and then put the logs up top. You can also put them up top right here and we're gonna do a window with the stairs, but I'll get to the stairs in a moment so we can keep it compart compartmentalized. Is that how you say that word? Anyways, this one is gonna be a full oak wall here on the left side. So go ahead and plug that in. We're gonna have a base for a window right there. And then boom, boom, two logs like that, two more logs, and then come across, boom. Oh, I'm saying logs. I didn't mean logs. I meant, I meant, you know what I meant. I meant oak, oak planks. Planks along the bottom here, and then we're gonna take it all the way up on the right side, leave a window gap on that left side. This is gonna be one wide and then another window on the front, which the front is gonna be asymmetrical. Now, let's do the stairs. First, these are gonna be doors right here, a double door, and then this is gonna be a door on this side. So go ahead and put a log, that'll look better for our door. Let's go ahead and put the doors in right here. We might as well put the one on this side. Those are gonna be doors, and then we're gonna do stairs. Stairs right across, and you know what? Let's do the front, just full front base. A window on top of that, and then another staircase just like that. Now we're gonna do stairs, let's do the window, might as well, and then come across, stairs, window, so you got our oak planks on the bottom, and then the stairs on top, looks good. That one is as not, uh, 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 it's asymmetrical, so we don't need it there, but window right here, and we're gonna do a window and then stairs. Now, initially, you would have thought we would have done stairs and then maybe a window, but we want those stairs right here to line up, so instead, we're gonna flip it. Just thought I'd give you that little sneak, sneak peek into the building mind of a Kyle. Stairs, window right here, and then a one wide window with the stairs right here, and finally, boom, 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 boom. And there we go, windows are in place. Now for the roof, coming across that fifth block, and I'm, I can also mention that these blocks right here, if you wanna save on materials, you could make these planks. Um, I would not recommend that one because then you can see it right there and with my OCD that'll bother me But you could if you really wanted to save materials either way if you're building with wood It takes about one extra tree to make sure this happens So just just do it this way But place in stairs all along the edge of this fifth high block And boom you got that in place. Okay now we're gonna do a middle section and have the the two edges a little bit lower in terms of roof height. So we're gonna do these stairs right here and you're gonna turn them at the logs, okay? So go ahead and come across, turn them at the logs, 
then build over to this side and once again turn them at the logs and finish it okay and then we're going to do one more set of stairs obviously you can tell we're just going to turn it along this top so go ahead and follow that can you hear can you hear shadow shadow's scratching himself you're good shadow and then boom roof is in place now we're going to build this little you can tell from right there skylight so we're going to do planks on the edges planks in the middle and then i need glass blocks let's see how fast i can get it someone put a timer on screen i'm so not putting the timer but that was really slow boom glass blocks and that's our skylight now let's come to the edges obviously following along the edge where you can see those oak logs we're gonna put slabs okay and now this is where i kind of lied to you but we're gonna take out these stairs now hopefully you watched the video before you built it if not i'm sorry you got some extra stairs but we're gonna do planks along the edges here obviously you could do the the whole oak slabs on top of it but again same thing you're gonna have enough resources for just some planks instead so do the planks especially because it'll f affect the interior but planks like that and then slabs just to round off the top of the roof and the key here is that that middle section has one half block higher makes all the difference but let's come over here and continue same process and there you go the roof is all set look at that now let's jump into the interior and there's some key things here to really make this look sweet first off find your logs and put a line of logs right across this is going to split our building into three different rooms and that's going to bug me you know it's going to bug me we're not there yet so i got to put the grass back in but i'm going to do a pattern here with the oak logs stripped oak logs and oak planks follow it it looks pretty cool i tested around with it so you might as well go for it i got i got screenshots so i can make it perfect for you stripped oak right here okay then stripped oak on this corner then one two stripped oak facing that way then on the left edge of that stripped wood we're gonna go right there and then one facing that way one just like this and then one two like this and then this part i actually can't see from the build because we're going to put a little couch but we're going to go like that and let's put right here on the edge let's put another facing up and then the rest you can fill in with oak planks and there we go a little floor detail pattern rather than just having it oak um, planks which would look terrible so now we're going to put in a little light okay and you know what let's do the couch first so grab some stone stairs looks pretty sweet you wouldn't think but it does and we're also going to grab stone slabs and we need a sign sign so it's that sign now coming to the edge of this back block we're going to do stairs facing like this and then coming in stone slab put the fa 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 what are they called second time i forgot signs on the edges and you got a little couch there in the middle now we're going to take lights back out get that glass block that was much faster this time and we're going to put a um we're gonna put a glass block underneath now i already have oak uh, right here because um once again i'm on this 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 platform right here but <clears throat> once you're building this in survival there will be dirt right here make sure to switch this out because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a torch and a glass on top so that we got lighting and the uh, lighting in the house so no mobs spawn but also we're here in starter survival this is a starting house that you can build so you won't have uh glowstone that's what it's called regularly you could put uh you could either put glowstone i'm gonna need that block again but you could put glowstone underneath and then oh i pulled it out there it is right here ah glowstone with the block like this or you could just do glowstone with carpet mm, don't do the carpet don't do the carpet so either glowstone with the glass block if you have glowstone but if not and we won't most likely put that torch works just as well now we're also going to put one on right behind this couch problem is since i'm on this platform i can't do the torch because the the actual the platform drops underneath and i i gotta have it looking you know perfect so so i'm gonna go ahead and place a glowstone with the terrible looking carpet right there but do the same trick where you do the torch with the glass on that back side um let's see coming across here we're gonna do some of the interior details with the actual 
shapes and rooms. So go ahead and put the stripped oak logs across just like this. And we're going to do a bunch of stairs to really round out the interior so it's not just blocky and ugly. Look at that. Stairs coming across right on that log and then all the way around. I'm going to put it on this log as well and coming across like this. Now you're going to have a gap right here and we're going to put planks on both sides. And then we're going to do more stairs right along the top of the roof just like this. And this is going to segment this side of the building just like that. And look at how much better. Now we got to round it into the roof. Boom, bam, pow. Now coming to this side again, you're going to have a gap right here. So go ahead and fill it with planks just like this. And then we're going to do uh, we're going to do stairs along the edges right here and along this side. And that's what I thought. You're going to have one more gap. So that'll be three blocks to fill. And then you could just do planks just like that right there. And I feel like I actually did this different before. I did. Let's replace this. So reset. Sorry. But stairs all the way across just like this. Running into that post and don't cover it up. And then we're going to do a rounded top just along the edge right here. And it looks pretty cool. That way you can also see this post which looks pretty awesome. Now this is the right side. Okay. And this is going to be our bedroom. First off, we're going to put a line of stripped oak logs that matches up right there. And then we're going to put this right in the middle and that too wide is going to be our door. So on the left, fill it with planks just like that. And then also put a oak slab just to make it look a little bit better. Now on the inside over here, we're going to want some white wool as the carpet for our bedroom. So let's cut all this out right here. Boom, 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 boom. Interiors, I got to grab a bunch of different blocks. So I'm going to clear the inventory and get them for each room. But let's hop over to this side where we're going to pull andesite and there it is, smooth stone. And we're going to do the interior of the kitchen type area right here. So pull it out, do stone slash uh, stone, smooth stone. Best block in the game, by the way, right next to the oak stripped wood. Trust me. Okay, trust me. That's going to be the floor for the kitchen area. We're going to cut out this block right here. Okay, and we're going to do the torch trick at the bottom. Now, same thing. You're going to need to replace all of these with the smooth stone. And this is because if you look down, we want to have that lined up and not have it dirt or a different block. Now, again, that's going to be wood, but you can make that spruce or not spruce, but smooth stone if you want. Honestly, that would look kind of cool, but put the light right there so that we don't die and blow up from mobs. Let me get my kitchen screenshot. Could I delay it? Yes, I did right there. And we're going to pull andesite. Boom. We're going to have two furnace furnaces on the door right there, but we're going to have our counters come across. Leave one in the corner. This is going to be a sink. One, two, three right here. Um, one right here. You could do two furnaces. You'll see in a moment. But one, two for cabinets up top. Now, as mentioned, I got our interior blocks all set. Let's do furnaces right here. Put our cauldron for the sink with some water inside. Uh, furnace right here. And now this is one of my favorite details. Built it way back. It's just unnecessary, but you can do it. It's a little fridge. Just a real basic fridge design. Just like that. It opens up and pops out. Oh, I don't like the... I would rather have the iron door open on this side. So let's see. There you go. Ah, do I? And switching it back. But look, if we put some food, get our steak right in there because we eat steak around here. Fill it up as you would as you, you know, get food from your farms. It pops out a little steak. Check it out. We got a steak. Completely unnecessary. But you can just go into this dispenser and scroll you know, grab the food as you need it. Now, put a little chest for storage and just to have it as another cabinet. We're going to put a brewing stand on the edge right here. Uh, that's going to be just almost like a coffee machine, I guess. I don't really drink coffee, but... And then oak leaves on top of a trap door. Trap door underneath that chest too, so that it holds it up. Now, I want to mention, we're going to do a bunch of these right here. I'm using oak leaves, but you'll notice if we're in an acacia biome, or if you're in a different biome, these leaves become a very terrible color. Let me pull out a block just to show you. Give me my iron. Right. Oh, no. Smooth stone. That's what we need. But since we're in an acacia biome, this oak leaves. Ugh, ugh, we don't want that on the interior of the house. So you can use either spruce leaves or birch leaves. They both hold their color even in a different biome. 
Fun fact, in case you didn't know. So yeah, any other biome, including the desert, go ahead and do that. But since we are right over here in a forest area, we can just use our oak leaves as planned. So put that in right there. Now, lights so that we don't die from the mobs. We're going to do torch right there and torch right there. That one, that one. And we're going to do a flower pot with a plant. Now, if you can't get a fern right away, if you're not by a taiga biome, go ahead and plug in just an oak sapling. That works too. We just want some green in this um kitchen area so do that and then put the pressure plates on top of the furnace because that looks way better okay so go for it go for it i got water i don't know where we left off um oh yeah and what i just noticed is we don't have our stairs up top right here forgot to place them in first so same sort of thing let's see can we find boom oak planks but we also need stairs now so let's take this boom oak planks coming across just like this and then we're going to do our um, stairs, trim it against, leave it into that post, and then go ahead and follow around in the circle just like that. And you can see once again, look at how much better that looks. I love it. I love it. The kitchen is all set. Now we're going to hop back to the living room right here. Probably could have started with it because that's the one you'll probably start with the living room. But either way, we're going to get plenty of storage because in a starter house, what I've realized is all you really need is storage. You're just going to use storage more frequently than anything else. So we're going to go ahead and place in plenty of double chests for you to use your stuff. And then we're going to put trap doors on top of that. Whoa, boom. Just like that and then just like this on top it looks cool it looks like uh it's holding in as a what's it called storage unit thing i don't know either way put item frames on the side here as you want you can use signs but this is just to label what blocks are in each of these chests i like to do it that way and then put another oak leaf right there in the corner now we're gonna need light so go ahead and put the um um fence post right there and obviously we can still open up that chest and we have all our lighting in right here we have our staircase and skylights so all we need is just an oak leaf over there and we're all set in that way now let's see how fast i can grab these boom we need a bed oh yep we're gonna need the flower pot again and we're gonna need that fern give me the fern give me the fern right here okay now we're gonna do a bed right here in the middle do i have slabs somewhere yes i do right here slab right there we're gonna do a torch just to keep the light we're gonna do a chest in the corner right there a plant uh just above it uh, i actually went with slabs in the original building but you can obviously use that trap door once again as you want actually definitely use that trap door it's way better crafting table in the corner right here as you need it put a flower pot on top of it because it looks better that's what we do and then fence posts right here with a light on top to again keep us safe from the mobs and then finally we're gonna need mm, we're gonna need a one wide painting right here if we do it like this it's gonna give us the two high so we got to put a block above and let's see oh that's the fastest i've ever gotten a painting to go normally it takes about nine years to get the painting right but we got it in one try uh oh video magic and there we go the bedroom is all set i just want to show you the light levels if you look at the block right here going around nine block minimum all throughout we just don't want to see a seven there and we don't have a seven anywhere so we are safe from the mobs you are safe within your starter survival house you got plenty of storage everything you need to get going now let's do a little bit of exterior details such as the path coming out right here all you really need is a grass path running as you can see just like that i mean you can do it in any sort of pattern you really want we want one out the back door over here too ooh, ooh, ooh. good time to mention if you have dirt normally it'd be dirt let me show you let me show you let me show you normally it'd be dirt right here and if we put that grass path there's a little bit of dirt we can't have that so absolutely replace it with the block so that it's seamless just like that and then you know run your path out from there now we're gonna do oak leaves just as bushes around the edges one two one two one two one two and then i believe one two one and let me put the the fences with the torches in here so you can see for the rest of the bushes we're gonna put them on each corner right here on the house just like this coming across um boom boom and in each of those corners right there now we're also going to need torches on the roof can i see from i can 
Look at them right there. We're gonna need torches on top just to keep the, the anything from spawning on the roof. So right at the edge of the corners, let's get them right here because we don't want a creeper spawning on top, dropping down on top of us and, you know, blowing us up because that's really no fun. It's happened before, okay? I'm scarred. But coming back across, bushes and one in the corner right here then two and then none on this side just to leave a little bit of a gap and then one two one two and that the bush is just really tied together so i would definitely add them finally all we really need is torches all the way around just because this is how i do it in survival i just light up the area with torches on the ground you can see it all throughout the base on there but torches just kind of randomly place spread out as it will be throughout your survival world um and i said random and then i kind of moved them around uh but then it's all set and obviously there will be torches kind of scattered all throughout your world and then i would say plant some grass uh of course it's up to you in terms of using bone meal bone meal will give you flowers which you know i can't have i can't have flowers but if you put grass around it's gonna look good and of course you'll probably have grass already within your actual uh survival world pre-generated so once we have this all set and in it'll look a lot better and a lot cleaner just spaced out and just like that we got the starter house all set interior walk in you're all good you got everything you need the only thing i forgot to mention in the original build is an anvil which you could if, let, let's see if we can find a spot live I would say, mm, put it in this corner. Yep, put it in the corner. That's amazing. I actually love that. I'm going to leave it. But <clears throat> just like that, we got the survival house on lock. So, yep, that's a block by block tutorial. Hopefully, you enjoyed. If you haven't seen the actual base, go check out that video. And um, yeah, that's it for the house. Thanks for coming. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for coming. And yes, I know I said that twice, but I always finish with thanks for coming. So, thanks for coming. <clears throat> Testing, testing one, two, testing one, two. That's how I warm up my mouth. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> At two, lawnmower.